Well, James, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Congratulations on the series. Tell me, what kind of wild ride can we expect in Constellation? I think you summed it up. It is a wild ride. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it's it's epic in scope. It's got huge production value. It's genre bending, so hopefully it has ticks a ticks a box for sup for everybody. One of the boxes, you know, you think it's a sci-fi, but then it may be a thriller. It could be a family drama, or it could be a conspiracy theory show. And in fact, it's all of those things, and then it's something completely different underneath all of that. So, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, the the genius that is Peter Harness, who created this unique experience. Is, has been able to touch on something that will uh, have something that almost everybody could identify with. And just to add, yeah. just to add I think the, the human condition, the human psychology, and the themes of that, how do you deal with love? How do you deal with loss? How do you deal with regret? How you deal with trying to be the best at your job when everything has been ripped from you? when the pieces are not adding up. What reality am I in? Am I in this reality or am I in another reality? So all those different human experiences, constellations touches on. So I believe the viewer is gonna go on a ride more than the actors went on a ride and watching this. And it yeah, brings me to my next point. I had a great conversation with Peter and Michelle about it, but uh, you guys as actors now, you guys are in this ride, like you're saying, um, well, how do you approach the script? How do you approach it episodically? Do you guys like read ahead? Do you guys just like, stay in your moment? Or do you guys need to know the full story ahead of time? Well, I didn't have the full story. Uh, James luckily got all eight scripts. I got the Berlin. I only had read uh, uh, um, episode one. But the writing just jumped off the page. And it was the first time that I, I read something that I'm like, this guy can write. I don't have to act, I don't have to force anything. All I have to do is find the spaces in between the lines and I can go from there. And the journey that Paul goes on, I mean, he's up, he's down, he's emotional, he's depressed. And that was something that I can sink my teeth into. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's great to see. And for your character, tell us a little bit about Magnus, now that we've heard a little bit about Paul. Uh, well, you know, when we first meet Magnus, he's, he's on Earth. His wife is in space and there's and they have a daughter and you know I think as we see the family reunite, we immediately get the sense that it's not quite right. It's not exactly how it's it's a somewhat dysfunctional setup. And then Peter Harness pulls the rug out from under your feet. And then he does that every fifteen minutes for the next seven and a half hours. Um, but w what I really liked about it and you know was able to connect to was the fact that at the root of it all what he's done is he's taken human beings put them into crisis and then tried to examine how that relationship could come back together you know God. how do they find their connection mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know i don't know for other people for me you know since 2020 that's been a big part of my thinking it's yeah. like we're we're living on shifting sands nothing seems to make sense and how do I remain positive and optimistic and keep my relationships moving in a, a compassionate way? You know, and I, what, what I think is so brilliant about what Peter did is he's asking all these questions and he's challenging the audience to think about all of that. But at the same time, it's this huge epic show. You know, it's got amazing production values. The, the first episode, it looks like a massive movie, you know. Uh, so you can just enjoy it but I don't think you'll be. I don't think you'll be able to. I think it's going to force audience, the audience, to 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 start thinking about their own lives. But that's a, that's a great thing about art, correct? That you, you know, if it sparks a conversation, you guys are definitely doing your job. Hundred, a hundred percent. And then, just really quick, I want to talk to you guys. With, in our household, uh, anything with uh, Numi uh, face is is a must watch. You know, because we, we just love her as a lead. What was it like working with her? And, and, and you know, you have a closer relationship, of course, <laughs> um, James, at, you know, in the series. Uh, what is it like working with her as a lead? I mean, she's, she's a powerhouse. She's fantastic. Yes. You know, and, and, and I don't want to give anything away, but the show required her to go to some extremely challenging places emotionally. And she, you know, she's as committed an actor as I have ever encountered. And she goes there. 
So then as a playing partner in the scene, it's actually really easy because there's, there's very little acting required. You just sort of show up. Peter Harness has written a brilliant script. Numi is exactly in the zone and you just let it happen. You know, it, the, the scenes were really, you know, I want to say joyful, but it's not quite the right word because it's, you know, it's hard, hard material we were dealing with. But in terms of job satisfaction, it, it was a very joyful experience. And she's an actress that transforms. I don't think I met Numi to after we started shooting. When she came to set, she was Joe. And she walked around like that, she carried herself like that, and she also separated herself like that. And that's what Joe would do, and you appreciate that as an artist to artist, and it makes you uh, level up another level. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your insight for a few minutes. Congratulations on the series, and I hope that you know everybody goes on that same roller coaster ride we're able to. Yeah, thank, thank you, brother. You. Thank you. Take care, that's a virtual meet you both. Yeah.